key issue is to ensure that we have a sustained supply of water and that involves both surface water and underground water. At the moment our main focus is getting boreholes operative in a way that will not pollute the water and will be sustainable. That is proving very effective. But the major challenge we find is in agriculture because if we want to sustain the water in our dams for human consumption it means that agriculture has to cut an enormous amount of consumption for irrigation and that has to become an opportunity to ensure we have much more effective ways of irrigating without wasting any water at all and to ensure that we plant the right crops that perhaps need less irrigation than traditionally in the past. So this is a major transition for agriculture and we're hoping to use it to create a new water industry and to create a sustainable agricultural base that isn't so vulnerable to climate change. Currently the reduction for Western Cape agriculture is up to 60% which is very, very severe and we're looking at ways of alleviating that and the farmers have been extraordinarily innovative and helpful and particularly towards finding ways of ensuring that unemployment doesn't devastate our rural areas. But we don't have a problem about the land tenure crisis in the Western Cape, but the way we are going about land reform is a way that I think you can tackle land tenure crises in many other parts of Africa, which is to ensure that many people own the land through shareholdings in the companies that manage the land and create agribusinesses. And that's what we've been pioneering. It's been enormously successful where it's been tried and we need to try it much more broadly. Yes, there are about 80 uh, projects in which we have cooperative ventures in this province, in which we have equity share schemes in farms and they're working very well. I would like the Western Cape to be able to contribute our insights, our knowledge, our capacity, our technology to the new fourth industrial revolution agricultural economy of the world. Well, our farmers are in general much less supported by the state than in most of those countries. But despite that, they're enormously competitive. Our wine exports to China are up by 80%. We're exporting huge amounts of agricultural products to the rest of Africa. And things are far better than one could ever have expected in a dry climate. Our farmers are of the best in the world and they are producing the most exceptional products on the basis of unfertile land and exporting to the rest of the world.